Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Thursday afternoon episode of Ted's Boo Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Or really, it's probably early evening, to be honest, by this point. And um, I'm doing a, um, a rare Thursday episode today because, well, two things. Firstly, I just had a bit of a bad first half of this week, and uh, just a lot of annoyances happened that just kind of combined together to make it a bit of an annoying first half of the week. So I wanted to do something to sort of like kind of a, that I could just kind of enjoy myself with. Uh, and then also it is my very dear and old friend Brendan's 26th birthday today. So uh, considering that my good friend Brendan uh, likes the odd occasional cider, I thought I'd uh, review a, um, a cider I can't remember if I've had before. I probably had it when I first started drinking alcohol because I remember when I first drank alcohol. Uh, the first one I sort of regularly drank was cider and um, today we're taking a look at uh, Balmer's Cider of Hereford and we're taking a look at their crushed red berries and lime flavour, uh, the bottled version to be precise. Now uh, as I said it's a, um, a cider from Hereford, uh, they were established in 1887 so they're one of the oldest cider makers in the country and it is 4% alcohol volume. So. It's not too strong, and hopefully it won't like blow your socks off. It's if that's like not what you're looking for. If you're looking for a sort of a light, you know, fruity, juicy sort of cider, maybe this will be for you. I gotta say, I don't find the label or anything like particularly striking about this bottle, but like the colour scheme of like dark browns and dark reds and black, really striking. So I'll give the design of the bottle and the label like a, I'd say like a 7.5 out of 10. It's nice. It's nice, but um. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm having a uh, British cider in a uh, Portuguese beer glass, so it's uh, somewhat sacrilegious. I got this from Sainsbury's for about, I think, just about under two quid. I think it was probably like somewhere in the region of like pound seventy to like pound ninety or something. I think, if I remember correctly, but um, I think that's pretty reasonable for the size of this bottle. It's a half liter, so I think that's fair. Um, so let's give it a sniff and give ourselves a hopefully good first impression. Oh, oh, that's not a great smell. Um, oh, honestly, it just smells like five-year-old Ribena mixed with crushed up love hearts. I am really not being given a good first impression by this. I'm going to have to give the smell like a four out of ten. It's not particularly nice, but to be fair, it's not awful either, so I think that's probably fair. But... As always, we won't know what this is like until we actually taste it. So, to everyone whose birthday it is today, especially my good and dear old friend Brendan, happy birthday to you. And bottoms up. Okay, the texture is good. The texture is really good. It goes down really smoothly, very palatable. No problems with um, swallowing it down at all. Really palatable. Um, the berries, uh, the berries part of the flavour is actually weirdly all right. It's um, uh, generally speaking, this is a little tiny bit overly sweet, but not nowhere near as much as some other uh, mass-produced mainstream bottled fruity ciders. So fair play to them on that. They haven't like just completely oversweetened it, um, but it is. It could do with maybe just being a tiny, tiny bit sharper. Not by much, but just to sort of like not necessarily to make it taste sharper, but like just balance the flavors out. But it generally, it's all right. I think the one. I think the one major thing I would really like about this, um, the flavor of this one, to be improved is I would like there to be a bit more lime in it. Um, there, there, you can taste a bit of lime in here. Um, but it's, it's definitely in the, um, the finish, uh, right when you like swallow it down. But I do feel like it could do with being a little bit more prominent throughout. Um, but I mean, yeah, generally I'm like pretty pleasantly surprised by this. I still prefer apple-based sharper sort of ciders or um, 
or like sweet sort of like slightly caramelly tint tinted like northern french ciders but uh, yeah this is all right it's not bad it's not definitely not the best cider i've ever had from even just from hereford but no it's it's actually much better than i thought it was going to be um i probably to be honest with you i probably wouldn't go out of my way to get this particular one again that's i don't know it's not bad it's um it's like yeah It's like a, I don't know, like a 5.75 out of 10. It's a little, it's a tiny bit above average. And while I definitely wouldn't go out my way to buy this again for myself, if someone just gave me a nice cold bottle on a nice hot summery day out to Brighton Beach, I'd be like, yeah, sure, why not? Um, but yeah, I mean, like I can imagine like loads of people really enjoying this. Like, it's a very palatable generally enjoyable fruity sweet cider it's not too strong so it won't knock your socks off and the balance of flavors while needing a bit of improvement is fine enough that it won't like lacquer the skin off your mouth so generally it's fine it's it's not really my kind of thing but i would say it's slightly above average and generally it's i can imagine a lot of people saying it's like an 8 out of 10 because to be fair, this just isn't my kind of cider, but I'm happy enough to finish this. And while I probably wouldn't go out of my way to get it again, I wouldn't complain if someone got a couple of bottles of it for me. But then again, I just prefer slightly sharper ciders anyway. So take that as you will. But as always, if you guys did like this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for future episodes of Ted's Brew Cellar, leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to check out any of my other online activities, check out my social medias and other YouTube channels in the video description below. And, as always, uh, have fun, stay safe with whatever you're doing, wash your damn hands, take care of your family, drink responsibly, know your limits. And, especially again today, happy birthday to Brendan, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Booze Cellar. Bye-bye for now.